classes each day, 12 hours each, 25 watt bulb warmers, and then I come back and just share my thoughts. Hopefully this will help you with your purchases or your club choices. So before we get started today, I wanted to tell you that I received a beautiful friend mail today and I will do a separate video on that, but from my friend Brandy from Bars and Bricks with Brandy here on YouTube. And among the many beautiful things that she sent was this lovely sculpture and it has a key in the back which is the key to the heart and that serves as its stand but it says friendship starts in loving hearts so that was so thoughtful and it did bring a tear to my eye brandy thank you so very much and i'm going to enjoy looking at that every time i look at that i will think of you so today's fragrances were bamboo yuzu and Blonde Wood and Moonflower. And these are both good performers. I have enjoyed both of them. And they've been going for 12 hours now. So let me go ahead and start uh, describing, first of all, Bamboo Yuzu. So this is a fresh fragrance. It is a green wax. And I do have one cube left. I don't have anything left of most of the fragrances. But I do have kind of hoarded a cube on this one. So the notes are... Uh, bamboo, lotus flower, yuzu. Yuzu is a citrus fruit and it's found in the uh, Capri Blue Anthropology scent. Yuzu and sage. So this is a very beautiful, very fresh green fragrance. It is green and watery floral in the lotus. So primarily the bamboo and the lotus is what I'm getting. Absolutely lovely. It's not sweet. You do get a little citrus from the yuzu. It brightens it. So compared to Sunburst Bamboo, this is brighter. Um, there is more of a citrus note to this one. Uh, that one I felt had kind of a uh, more creaminess. And uh, this one is fresh, watery, and green. Um, the sage, uh, the sage must be very well blended because I can't say I'm picking that out by itself. So primarily the yuzu and the beautiful watery lotus flower. I love lotus flower. So this is lovely, great performer. Started out at a nine for the first couple of hours. Um, over the 12 hours, now it's a six to a seven here in the guest bedroom. So really good performer. Um, didn't travel outside the room. I had the door open and closed depending on what was going on today. I try to keep the door largely not open all the way when I'm reviewing something just because I want to see what it does in a contained area. So a uh, really good performer and um, this one is going in my Scentsy Club. I really enjoyed this one. So that is Bamboo Yuzu. And our other fragrance today is Blonde Wood and Moonflower. And this is in the woods category. And the notes are Blonde Wood, Amber, Moonflower, White Roses, and Lilies. So for me, primarily that warm blonde wood. Um, it isn't as sharp as like the teak wood. It is a warm, slightly sweet wood, very creamy from the amber. There's a lot of amber in this. Um, and then the white florals. So I looked up moonflower because I didn't really know what it was. So I looked it up and it is a night blooming white floral and it's highly fragrant and its seeds are hallucinogenic. So see, there's kind of a mystical quality to this one. So to me, again, this is very, that's all about the warm wood and the sultry amber. To me, this would be a, a, a bedroom scent. You could probably warm this throughout your home and it's a good performer. Um, to me, it is rather sultry. I'm not a big fan of the amber fragrances, although I enjoyed this one very much because that blonde wood is absolutely beautiful. So from a performance standpoint, um, this was slightly less strong than Bamboo Yuzu, but a great performer. Started out at about an 8, stayed at an 8 for about half the day, and then just started to taper off a little bit, and now it's a 6 to a 7, so it didn't drop off much. Really good performer, beautiful, sultry, again, probably best as a bedroom kind of scent, and very calming and, and um, comforting. So that is Blonde Wood and Moonflower. So... Both of these are lovely. I will be picking up more of Blonde Wood and Moonflower 
and I will be putting Bamboo Yuzu in my Scentsy Club. So as a follow-up to yesterday's fragrances, we had Enchanted Mist, and Enchanted Mist was a beautiful fragrance, but very light, and day two, it was practically non-existent. About a two to a three, again in a 25 watt bulb warmer. Um, I had to go looking for it, I had to put my nose right over it, and by midday, I really wasn't getting anything at all. So probably not a good choice for day two. I would just wrap it up at the end of day one. But I love that fragrance, so it's frustrating. I'm hoping after more curing, you know, these just came. So I'm hoping after they sit for a while, maybe Enchanted Mist will do a bit better. Our other fragrance yesterday was Berry of Paradise, and that did great day two. It's been a three to a five, so certainly present, and that was in the enclosed porch, which is a big room. So when I walked in, it was present, noticed it right away. I didn't have to go hunting for it. So I, that one has better longevity and it is worth melting on day two. So there you have it. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. We have this week. I should wrap this all up on Sunday and I'll do a full recap on Sunday and, uh, and give some, just some summary thoughts. So thank you for watching. I hope everybody's well, very hot here in Ohio. I don't know where it is where you are, but stay cool. And um, until next time, hug your loved ones. Take care. Bye for now.